everyone welcome to path to nowhere we have here chameleon she is one of the most overlooked and underestimated sinner that i could think of and many are not really you know understanding what she can give you we'll start off with her skill priority so that we could have um you know we could get to know her better so for her skills what she gives you primarily is a boost in attack speed. That's one. Next is also a boost in normal attack damage. So take note of that. Those are very big things that you know she can give us, but she's literally forgotten in most you know clearing of uh, content. Um, she can really. I'm just gonna go back here, guys, and she can really help us in clearing broken frontline especially if we are doing this on a time trial she is going to be very effective here and i don't know why um she's overlooked most of the time so let's go back to um chameleon and let's not overlook her at this point so again for her skills priority wise i'm gonna be suggesting of course this one, her ultimate, she has four. She has normal attack, ultimate, and two passives. Number one priority is going to be her ultimate. Okay, just want to explain this. This is a bit of a tongue twister in the head. Okay, so she is going to, for, for suggestion. She's going to put a stack of, uh, a, a stack of deep suggestion for every casting of suggestion. So one stack is 4% attack speed, and this can be stacked up to five times for one target. Okay, that's only for one target. So if you decide to, to put this on one target, then that's a plus of 20% attack speed. So that is what suggestion is. And to complicate matters, we have mass hypnosis. If you can if you want to consider um casting your um suggestion on multiple sinners then actually you can cast up to three up to three different sinners um provided that you upgrade her shackle so this one is going to give they're gonna be becoming if you cast suggestion to multiple sinners they're gonna be called catalyst so aside from the four percent attack speed this one gives them a 10% normal attack damage bonus when using suggestion and uh, attaches one stack of deep suggestion. So basically what they're receiving is 4% attack speed plus 10% normal attack damage. Let's say, for example, you have three already. You have three um, sinners who have um, deep suggestion. Then you decide to attach another um, suggestion or deep suggestion to an existing sinner. Will you get another 10% normal attack damage? No, but you'll get one one additional stack of um, attack speed. So that particular sinner will have 8%. The other two will have 4%. If you, again, add to another stack, so that's a maximum of five. So the eight would become 12. The other two would become four. But all three will only have a maximum of 10% normal attack damage for them. Okay, hope you guys understood that because again, her skills, again, if you don't really recognize or understand what she's going to give you, you are really going to be frustrated how you're going to maximize her during your um team formation so you have suggestion first mass hypnosis next then the last one is transference so all allied sinners affected by suggestion gain an extra 10. okay so for those who have um deep suggestion or suggestion or affected by suggestion they're gonna have 10. so for each sinner that you're gonna be giving suggestion to they're going to have a minimum of not four, but they're going to minimum. They're going to have a minimum of 14 and the 10 percent increases up to 15. So if you if you level this up up to 10, that's a minimum of a 19 percent attack speed just for one. 
Okay, so just gonna you know just gonna clarify this. So again, this uh, transference is your third priority. Mental sword definitely is your last because this is based on her attack. So you're gonna need mental sword later in her exclusive prime brand. But for now, okay. Option one: increase one. So have deep suggestion with multi stack of attack speed. So. It's gonna be if the maximum would be if you have five stacks, so that's around four times five. That's twenty percent attack speed plus transference of a minimum of ten. So you're gonna get thirty attack speed plus if you level this up to fifteen. So twenty plus fifteen. That's thirty five percent attack speed only for one if you decide to put only all of your stacks in one plus the 10 percent normal attack damage option two okay increase multiple increase um three so you have three catalysts with one stack of attack speed each plus normal no, no one one stack of attack speed each plus normal attack damage okay but again if you only have one stack plus 10 each are going to have a minimum of 14 percent so that is the math basically that i'm actually teaching you so either you go with one super fast attack speed sinner or you have a maximum of three who has more or less equal attack speed or two will have um two or one will have more than 14. so i hope you got that but again my point is either you can do deep suggestion with one or a maximum of three with three catalysts. So the three would come in handy, especially if you have three blockers in front. That is that is ideally what you should do. Probably favor one. Just give one stack for the two. Then the three remaining stacks you give to the one that you are preferring, especially Nox. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a suggestion if you have... Nox there if you have Zoya and if you have Bai. So Bai one stack, Zoya one stack, Nox definitely will receive three stacks. But that is it. So I hope you understood um the skill priority and explanation on how you're gonna be benefiting from all of her skills. So moving on, we will again um just wanna repeat this suggestion. First, Mass Hypnosis, Transference, and Mental Sore for the skill priority. So, going to her crime brand, I don't really have um, a complete um, set. This is a broken set, but the complete set here is going to be Justice. This is the best set for her, for me, because this gives an increase of a 5% attack for 10 seconds for all except her, except for Chameleon. Take note of that. She's going to give, um, after she casts her ultimate, an additional 5% for 10 seconds of increase of attack. So that is very good. And this increases her attack. This increases her HP. As for the third slot, this is a broken set. I still am thinking about what to put here. But what is most important is justice. This gives you additional attack percentage for all of your um, team members except for Chameleon. This one again, you can slot in whatever you want at this point until I get something that I can slot in here. I just use this because of the magic damage increase of plus 3%, which can come in handy. Um, little damage for her. I don't see... You can actually use this as well. Attack the 6%. But you will have to wait for, um, for a good single piece that you can include here on the third slot so moving on to her deployment role okay guys so this is the formation that she's going to be in so preferably in the middle and she's going to give a lot of buffs uh, attack speed wise and damage to the front and uh, because of her crime brand she is also going to be giving attack buffs to um all of the sinners here so we'll just have to wait for her to power up the one that she is she should uh, give is th the priority is going to be in the middle so if it's a long so there you go that is the buff that she has this symbol is giving buffs to everyone so at this point 
So just wanna slow the game down. Just wanna I don't want to quicken this. Let's move Nox here. Uh probably move her here so that she can as you can see you can you can also put There you go. So we have lots of attackers coming our way. So we just need another buff here for uh, Bayi. Okay, so let's do the ultimate. She's gonna she's gonna power Nox up because of um, her basic attack or normal attack speed buff. She's gonna power Nox up. And that damage of Nox is going to be maximized fully. So we have three stacks here. You can apply um, two more additional stacks to whoever you want to apply it to. So you can apply another stack here. So that gives you an increase of another, what do you call this? Another increase of speed, but not an increase of damage. So... That is how you use her, and more or less, uh, your front line is going to be benefiting from her. So, moving on to her shackle level. Okay, Chameleon's shackle level, I've unlocked every one of it. That is why I have a maximum of three catalysts here. Number, number one is actually nice, because at the start of the battle, if you see, there were swirls there. Um, all allied sinners gain plus 10 attack speed bonus for 15 seconds. So... If you're expecting an early onslaught of enemies, this is going to come in handy. The first copy of her. The next one, I think, would would be the ultimate energy consumption. Because as early as possible, you need to put those buffs. Especially if the early game, you're expecting a lot, you know, in terms of waves. In terms of um, enemies that are coming your way. Number four is going to be important. The catalyst here, I think only one additional is important. Um, and that's it. Number four is really important. And number one. Okay, so if you're asking me if um, she is worth it for phase three, let's go over her exclusive crime brand here. For every 10 times mental sword deals damage, that is her basic attack. All the catalysts gain um, all the catalysts gain 6% additional attack speed for 7 seconds. So Mental Sword is her basic attack. So after her her 10th basic attack, all catalysts gain an additional 6. And it's going to be up to a maximum of 10. So there's a possibility that one catalyst will have a attack speed of... If, if everything's at max... One catalyst is going to have a um, max speed upgrade of plus 45%. That's big. If you put that in Nox, definitely nobody's going to be going through Nox. And you're going to be maximizing the damage output of Nox, especially if um because because again nox is dependent on her ultimate and it has a duration so you can maximize most of nox because of her um for whatever damage dealer that you have but nox is your ideal target for her attack speed buffs so again going back to the question is she worth it yes especially if you are proceeding to um lessen your um lesson stages time um let's say for example here and um this c and broken front line if your goal is to lessen that your times here she is going to be a very good addition to your team because again she will hasten attacks and she will increase the damage of not only one but three sinners on your team so Again, that is my thoughts, guys. Or those are my thoughts, guys, on uh, Chameleon. I'm actually hoping to build her in the next couple of weeks, probably up to the end of December. Hopefully, I could have a trial run or a time run on Broken Frontline with her. And she's going to be she's, she's gonna do wonders. So, hopefully, I can see in the next video. And if you have any comments on her build, please put them down in the comment section. See you guys in the next one.